Well, good morning. It's Wednesday, February 9th, 2022, and this is another edition of Cafe Devo. Coming to you almost live from First Congregational Church right here at the point of Saginaw and Washtenaw in beautiful downtown Durand, Michigan. I'm Pastor Steve Wood, hanging out here once again with my pal Bugsy, and I certainly hope your Wednesday is going well. Reading once again from the book Truth for Life, it was written by Pastor Alistair Begg, copyright 2021, The Good Book Company. Luke chapter 11, verses 10 and 13. Everyone who asks receives, and the one who seeks finds, and to the one who knocks it will be opened. If you then, who are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will the Heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask Him? When a teenager who has just gotten their driver's license asks mom or dad for the car keys, it is not typically a vague, half-hearted request. (laughs) No, their mind is engaged and their will is focused. Please, can I have the car keys? I would like the car, please. I'd like to use the car. I'm asking you for the car, and I'm asking for it right now. (laughs) You get the idea. Similarly, the verbs that Jesus uses to teach his disciples how to make requests to God in prayer, ask, seek, and knock, convey urgency, consistency, and clarity. It's as if he's saying, I want you to pray in a way that involves humble, persistent determination. I want you to seek and to go on seeking, and I want you to knock with an urgent sincerity. He is inviting you and I to come before our Heavenly Father and just ask. We must be careful about what we ask for, of course. When we present our petitions before the Lord, they need to be tempered by the Holy Spirit through what John Calvin called the bridle of the Word of God. In other words, the Bible teaches that we can ask in total confidence for the things that God says are good and right, things like his help, so that we can present our bodies as living sacrifices, grow as witnesses to the gospel, or increase our desire to worship. But we must not think that we can manipulate God, demanding that he give us whatever will make our life easier or wealthier. It is possible to ask and not receive because you ask wrongly to spend it on your own selfish passions. That's James 4.3. So we are to ask boldly, but we are to ask humbly. We are to ask God to do great things, and then we are to accept his answers. There are good reasons why God will not always give us what we ask, even when what we ask is good and godly. Our prayers are not always in accordance with his good and sovereign will. We cannot always determine what's best for us, but God always knows what's best for his children. Therefore, when we bring our request before him, we must look to his word as our roadmap and remember that he is working to bring about his purposes and his will in our lives and to conform us to the image of Jesus himself. So come before God. Just ask humbly, openly, honestly in prayer, and then allow him to work and to do his will. For further reading, check out Colossians chapter 1, verses 9 through 12. Now, Father, we come before you on this Wednesday, and we thank you for it. We thank you for your love and your grace. We thank you for your presence. Thank you, Lord, for your word and for the opportunity to spend a few minutes in it with you. We invite you to move through this day with us, Lord. Redeem it for your purpose and guide us as we seek to serve you and be a blessing to others. We make our prayer in the name of Jesus. Amen. Well, that's going to do it for us on this Wednesday edition of Cafe Devo. If you listen close, you probably heard my coffee is gurgling on the carrig behind me, so I'm going to go get that cup. But before I do, I want to remind all of you that First Congregational Church goes live tonight with our Wednesday night live stream. It goes up at 7 p.m. right here on Facebook 
or over on Zoom, if you prefer that platform, we'll be there as well at the very same time. So we invite you to come join us for a little conversation, a little prayer, and a little Bible study as we continue our journey through the book of Revelation. Hopefully you can join us. It's always a good time, and you're most welcome. For now, this is Pastor Steve Wood signing off. God bless you, my friends, and I'll see you tomorrow.